There comes a time in an adult collector's life where certain items of their collection are separated by time and space. In today's episode, Tears from Roland's Reviews takes on a mission, a journey, to locate these missing items, reclaim them, and bring them safe back home. With the planets aligned, let's wish him luck on this courageous crusade. Cheers, dude. Ripley, get in! Go in! We've got to go, you're not coming. Go inside! Go on inside! You've had a walk, go away! Right, are we ready? Yeah. Where are we going? Nan's house. Where's that? Chester. When was the last time we saw her? 2019. December, Christmas 2019. So, uh, yeah, let's go! Boom! Oh, bye Ripley, bye, bye, bye. What, why is there always traffic, like really bad, coming out of Devon? People should be coming down to Devon. I mean, that's how going. You right, Josh? Yo. Slow going, yeah? Yeah. So what, we set off at 11, it's nearly six o'clock. We've just hit Birmingham. Um, we, sh we should have been home like hours ago. Look at that, Josh, do you know what that is? What? Cheshire. After an emotional reunion with Nana, Chester, and with their stomachs filled, and a good night's rest, it is time for Roland's reviews to be reunited with his missing possessions, so it's onwards and upwards in his mother's attic. Hello there! Welcome to my mother's attic. Right, I've set some lights up in here. Um, I've, I have come up before, so I kind of know where everything is. I know what's in that cupboard. I'll show you that in a bit, but... It's, it's quite a tidy attic, this, considering, you know, assets can be just dumped. Uh, my mum keeps a good ship up here. Covered some Star Wars vintage stuff with that bed sheet, so I'm hoping it's all still there. Right, so bear with. No, here we go. So they're all, they should all, yes. Look at that. A black mass of vintage bags. Uh, right, let's have a look at this first. Oh, look at this. Oh, this, oh, this, oh, B Wing. We've got the B Wing in its bag. Let's see, oh. And this is a very special uh, sort of story goes of it. Oh. Sticker decoils. Oh, I'll show you that in a sec. I mean, I said I've got two of these. I've got one. I bought one on eBay a while ago. Yeah, this was my original one I had. Yeah. It's not bad. Pretty good to have two of these. I mean, it's pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, let me just show you this. This has got some provenance to it. Uh, so, there's the sticker sheet. Comes with instructions. A bit, a bit faded, but hey, there are instructions. And uh, here, because I got this B wing, not this one, but the box and the pristine one I've got at home. I got this from FOA Swartz in New York, uh, Fifth Avenue. And it was in their antiques department and uh, it was going for $110. Price ride over, net price $30. So the, I ended up paying $32.51, uh, only because the one I have at home, there was missing guns. Um, they had, inside they had the wrong, um, Instructions. They had a, a wiring instructions on it, so they found this. Um, it had a missing canopy and missing guns. Uh, so I sort of haggled with them and ended up paying thirty-two dollars fifty-one cents. Fourteenth of November, two thousand and five. So I kept this receipt just because you know it, I ended up talking down the antiques 
specialists at FOA Swartz. And FOA Swartz is the um, toy store in New York where um, they played the piano on Big. So yeah, pretty good. So that's one thing. Up next, let's get the, oh, you can see what this is, Ewok Village. It's a bit cramped in here and the light's not very good. Uh, so this is my box uh, for my Ewok Village. Um, it is complete. Uh, oh, 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 it's all in a bag. So I did put it in a bag. So we've got the base, the three stumps, and oh, shabby. I think you're missing these, aren't you? The struts and the fences. Andy from Holly Chronicles. <laughs> I think you need one of these, uh, the drum for your Ewok battle wagon. But unfortunately, it's staying with me. So that's the um, complete Ewok village set. I mean, it's still got the the netting in there. And the box isn't too bad. It's a bit battered. But hey, it serves its purpose as a box. You're talking of play sets. And here, Let's see what it is. We have Darth Vader's Star Destroyer in a box. Oh, it's the um, black and white back with the um, reaction features on. So, oh. Oh, all right, Tim. Didn't know you were in there. Mm. Oh, I can't believe I've still got that. Yeah, I mean, this box has seen better days. But hey, it's a boxed vintage Star Wars. Um, Star Destroyer, so, and Luke has sent me, Luke Reynolds, um, has sent me some uh, extra pieces, because I only, I didn't have the, I didn't have the, uh, the gun, and Darth Mark sent me the nipple for the top there, and the, the screen that comes down. So I'm not going to put this together, so I've got the back section, the, the, the chamber, there's no stickers on them. They've just got dry and fallen off. The base, uh, with the trapdoor, that's always a piece which uh, goes missing. Front section, it's good. And most importantly, these things always go missing. Um, the three struts. Oh God, it's hot up here. Not the best play set, but it's a good place to put your um, bounty hunters. Those three I've got there were stuff I had as an adult collector, but this, ugh, well, you know, it's a long Star Wars box, so I think it can only be my childhood Rebel Transport. Got this for Christmas, oh, I don't know, 83, 84, I can't remember. Yeah, the box is a bit knackered, but hey, my box, all my boxes are knackered, so. Alright, let's get him out. Oh, la, 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 la. Ooh. It's still got its uh, cardboard insert as well, so that's kind of kept the box in good form. So, let's have a look at the old space maggot. So, the stickers aren't too bad. I think we notice the uh, stickers here, I really messed this up. I stuck this on when I was a kid, I stuck them on backwards. And then I realised, and I peeled it off, and you know, but hey ho. So yeah, I've got all the. Um, oh, they don't click anymore. Fair dues. Uh, yeah, so it's all in there. The trap door is intact. Such a good ship. I mean, it's a beast, isn't it? I mean, I, I had this a long time before I got the Millennium Falcon, and it was just used for carrying the rebels uh, and that's a pallet toy box toy and hobby 14 pound 95 yeah man what do you think of all my star wars what do i think of all your star wars yeah. well it's something we've learned to live with isn't it oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> how many years have they been up there in the loft 15 more than, More that. than that. See, my mum's good. She doesn't chuck it away, do you, mum? No. No. But Ed. No. <laughs> yeah. And I always appreciate what my mum got me, and I always kept it because I knew it was special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's going now, so I'll have a lot more room in the loft. I'm, I've just been waiting, obviously, to see my mum because I haven't seen her since Christmas 2019. And um, yeah, I mean, I didn't want to come straight up to Chester to see my mum and go straight in the attic. So, you know, I've waited a, a whole day to do this. So yeah, there's, there's a, a good little haul of Star Wars there and I will be taking these back uh, to Devon and trying to fit them in my Roland Reviews pit. Oh! The boiler, jeez. Push this round. Oh, hello, hello! Oh God, it's hot up here. Let's continue and uh, see what I've got because over there, there's something special in there. So I'm going to have a look. Ooh, ooh. Oh. What? Oh, he's done it again. So this thing's in two parts, right? Great. Well, we're just going to have to wait and see what surprises are in store. Oh, wow. Look at that. Connect four. Will he find anything substantial? Here we have the mighty 128K ZX Spectrum. Well, that's just great. You better have, have some, some games, games to play on that thing. Right, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word, oh my word. Yes. Tune, Tune in next, next time on Roland's Reviews. <laughs> <laughs>